welcome this is the energy vibration lays in for the um the water sign people the pisces cancer and scorpion i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration um um i have to say my apologies for the weekless haven't been coming out i am so busy um and my apologies for that for you pisces and um uh, cancers and scorpion okay let's see what's coming up for you guys in this full moon please remember for the extended reading you can use the link to go to my website page and there is extra um, long one hour reading that is coming up okay so Jupiter for you Pisces you <laughs> you water sign people why am I saying Pisces uh, what are some people? Jupiter is coming in. Oh my God, the center of your radar is Jupiter. Uranus is coming and Jupiter is being replaced. Ooh, a renewal is coming up for you, um, water sign people. So that is beautiful. Some luck and a renewal of fate is coming in for you, water sign people. So that is good. It just flipped out as I was um, going with these cards. So Uranus is always like for you a water sign. Uranus, when Uranus comes, because it is in the pinnacle of the reading, so it's going to affect both um, moon sign and um, sun sign people. Okay, Uranus. Um, I, you know, have this so with the planet of Uranus, and no planets are bad, but Pluto and Uranus when they come along expect um, tsunamis. Okay. So, for the sun sign people, and for the um, for the sun sign people, and for the Pisces, now there is a lot that is just going on with the energy of Uranus. You know, um, the Cancers come out in the reading, and the Moon Cancers, Neptune is here, so your psychic is going to be off the chart. Some of you cancers are going to be connecting with a Virgo, which is very, very positive. But, um, um, I really, really, really honestly think that the cancers and the Virgos pass together because I don't pass together with you guys. I can't. I'm a Capricorn. I don't do well with the cancers. I don't know. I can never, ever do well with the cancers. And I have been, um, you know, researching the signs of the, of, of, um, each um, zodiac sign and I really really do see from um, information about the cancers and the Virgos that the Virgos and the cancers really pass together in the Virgos and the scorpions I really think a better match is the Pisces and the Ca and the Capricorns I don't know who wrote that about the cancers and the Pisces the only thing that cancers and Pisces have in common is that you um, you have something to do with our parents we're gonna take you down okay family is like the best thing for um and that's the only thing i think they, the, the the cancers and the pisces have in common okay now jupiter met uranus uh jupiter with uranus is that the sky is the limit when it comes to what you want to achieve in life the sky are aligned with blessings and whatever you want and anything you're taking on the consideration is going to be so powerful, so good. So um, Jupiter met Uranus, that's these two. So the sky is the limit for you water sign people. This is wonderful. It's powerful. It's really, really good. What I'm seeing is more people than planetary aspect that is in your reading. So that is another good positive point for you water sign um, people for this full moon of uh, 15 um, April to 15 um, May. So it's going to be very positive for you, um, you water sign people. It's going to be um, really, really a positive energy. Okay, we have Neptune and Jupiter. So again, as I said about the psychic, especially for the people who were born 6 p.m. to uh, 6 a.m., deep under, deep atonement of spirituality power are at your disposal believe in yourself and draw into this um, divine strength so it is going to be a profound plague 
um, positive energy that is going to be coming in and oh my gosh if you have realized is that uh, um, the the Aries and the Pisces and whatever the situation is between the Aries and the Pisces there is definitely something that is happening but it's not going to be a long-lived relationship I can tell you this um, the Pisces and the Taurus could have a relationship or could be connected in a relationship and this is going to be working out and we have the Virgos and the Cancers, and especially the um, the, the 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 lunar people, the moon people, the people that was born between six six thirty p.m. and six thirty a.m. This is what is going to be affecting you. But this full moon for you, water sign people, it's all about renewal. This is a, um, very very good. So um, a lot of you are going to be working um, with the Taurus you Pisces are could be connected with Tauruses and the Aries okay so you Pisces especially um, if you were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you are going to be connecting with the Aries okay and the Tauruses as we look at the moon people we have the energy of the moon cancers which is people from between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. what we are having is Neptune so your intuition is going to be um, like off the chart balance comes in balance comes in it's going to be a wonderful period where Uranus is going to be bringing in some balance and this is going to be good so um, some of you could be ending lawsuits, legal issues, and that sort of a thing. Uranus is coming in, and Uranus is playing um, a really wonderful role in your life and role in situation. And this is going to be so wonderful, so positive. Um, whatever is transpiring and happening, these situations are just going to be just so off the chart. It's just going to be good. It's going to be positive, whatever that is transpiring. Let's look and see what the Aries, how the Aries is going to affect the water sign people. The Aries is coming in and the Aries are going to be bringing back faith to you water sign people. Whoever you are, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, um, these Aries are going to be um, bringing back faith to um, um, to you water sign people so whoever these Aries are somehow you're going to be connecting they're going to be bringing back fate to you then the Pisces what we have here is that we have the energy of revenge so some Pisces in this timeline is going to take some revenge you could be taking revenge on Aries people or you could be taking revenge on the Tauruses. Whatever the situation is, is that something injustice has happened, and you Taurus, you um, you Pisces are really going to be um, be revengeful, but persevere, persevere, persevere. Okay, I don't know what <laughs> the revengeful thing you Pisces, and I know Pisces, you like to take revenge. Okay. The energy of the Tauruses are here, and the Tauruses are going to be bringing you, um, water sign people, abundancy. Okay, so, um, whatever the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, definitely you Tauruses are going to be bringing in abundancy to the water sign. So this is good. This is wonderful. It's powerful. I'm seeing abundancy coming in, which is really fantastic for you sun sign people. So for the people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., what is happening? What is transpiring is that faith is going to be returned. Some of you need to persevere in abundancy, definitely, because Jupiter and renewal. So your financial um, stability and situation will be coming in. Now we have workaholic that is coming up for the cancers. A lot of you are going to be working hard. Um, this timeline, um, a lot of, of you water sign people are going to be working hard. It's as if you're going to be putting out of effort in whatever you're doing. Um, Neptune is here. Let's see what's happening with Neptune. Neptune is bringing a bittersweet situation, whatever that is transpiring. Um, Neptune could be um you know letting you know what exactly is happening okay neptune is going to be bringing the truth to you whether in a dream intuition wise or uh, you know via a psychic or some reading but neptune is going to bring um the truth to you and it's going to be a bittersweet um um situation okay a bittersweet situation i'm seeing um some of you are dealing with an um a cancer and you're going to be, you cancers are really going to be working hard, okay? Bittersweet. Virgos, the Virgos who are coming up are very tricky. So 
you guys are connecting with a Virgo and and this Virgo is very tricky okay it's a tricky person so be aware and alarm and this Virgo is only looking for abundance and materialistic uh, uh, whatever it is this Virgo is looking for is uh, the materialistic world okay so be aware of this Virgo some of you need to uh, um, accept what is transpiring in your life and don't push um, don't push the flow don't push with the flow don't push against the flow leave things to flow the way they need to flow whatever the situation is and whatever is happening and the weirdest thing is that for the Virgos is as if someone had done this trickery to the Virgos because go back and listen to the hurt sign reading because the Virgos are earth sign they add also um, trickery and the Virgos come back up here with trickery who are these Virgos? Who is this person? And how are they coming up with the trickery? Because they, they had it also. So the Virgos did something and is on the investigation. They got paid to do whatever they did. Okay, 10, 8, 8, 8. So some of you could be receiving some money from the Virgos, but not only money, there is going to be a renewal of love for the Virgos. So some of you, you could be reconnecting with the Virgos because um, it's as if communication, there is going to be a, a situation of communication at work. There is some trick with a Virgo. Okay, communication at work. There is a trick with a Virgo at work. So um, you want to sign people be aware of this because there is some communication um, uh, it could be about work or with work and there is some trickery okay so you have work so it has something to do with work communication at work about some so um, some of you could be finding out that a Virgo did something Okay, because there's going to be some communication. Um, and it has to do with work or at work. And you're going to realize, and then you're going to be turning your back and walk away from this Virgo. Okay, so whoever this Virgo is or was, um, there is some communication. There's some trickery. There is some things that is happening. And you're going to be turning around and walk away from this person. Okay. Um, and this is a, a this this is a definitely a Virgo and you're gonna be and it's a bittersweet situation that is going to be transpiring between some of you and a Virgo okay because you're gonna be communicating you're gonna be finding out something this is what they're saying you're gonna be finding out something what a Virgo did at work either you work with a person there is networking but you're gonna be finding out that a Virgo did something tricky you're going to be finding out what the Virgo has done and then um, you're going to turn your back on it. It's going to be a bittersweet situation, but not. there's no ending that is coming in because there's going to be a renewal of love. And whatever this Virgo has done, it's, it's putting you in a better position. Okay, so whatever this Virgo has done has put you in a better position and um, respect and honor is going to be coming to you. So there is going to be a renewal at work because whatever this trickiness that this Virgo did is going to be putting you at a better place and you're going to be turning your back to the strict race as if this Virgo should have transferred work over to you but they didn't do it but yet still you are um you're going to be finishing it off and you really don't need their help or whatever that was happening okay a wonderful positive nub um some of you are going to be um reconnecting with um people past life and that sort of a situation um legal issues are going to be balancing out so some of you who have been silent enemies to other people it's going to be coming out abundance is definitely going to be coming in some of the you tauruses are going to be bringing money in your world business um connection network and that sort of a thing it is a very positive reading for you um water sign people and i'm wishing you a really really wonderful 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 um uh, time and namaste until next time